So if you wanna build larger complex forms in Framer, you probably wanna break that down into multiple steps. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can create a true multi-step form in Framer in minutes. Let's go. So here we are in a brand new project. And the first thing we're gonna do is draw a new frame on our canvas. And let's just call this uh, multi-step for now. What we actually wanna do is create this as a component. Cause what we're gonna do is use some component logic and combine that with a tool called Framer Form. So let's just create this new component called multi-step. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go to frameforms.com and you wanna grab some of these components here. So let's just revisit the onboarding and we'll grab this uh, block here and let's paste that into our project. Great, okay, so we've got our input field here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a label above this. So we'll call this first name and we'll change the size of this as well. So now all I need to do is just go ahead and style this form however I want. So we'll set the radius to be zero. Okay, and now if I copy my submit button and paste it into Framer, what I'm actually gonna do is take this component here and I'm gonna change it from a submit form to a validate form, which essentially is going to validate that this is okay and it's going to move it on to another step. So let's change the text here to say next and let's change the styling on this one as well. So let's set the background to be black and let's set the radius to be zero. And we'll also set the width to be the same as everything else. So what I reckon I'll do is actually draw a new frame around this and we'll set the width to be 400 pixels and the height to be auto. So everything fills the space it needs to. And we'll set the direction to be vertical. We'll change the alignment and we better fix up the positioning of, the, of this too. And then on my input fields, I'm just gonna set the width to be 100%. And that looks pretty good. We'll just get rid of the backgrounds here and we'll just make sure everything is centered within my layout here. And let's get rid of a background and change this input to something slightly darker. Okay, great. That looks pretty good. Maybe we can change the height of this button just to make it a little bit more punchy. And now we've essentially set up the template for our multi-step form. So now all we need to do is create a new variant. And what we'll do on this next one is we'll call this email. And you know what? Maybe there's another input someone needs to do as well. So maybe they also need to complete a phone number on this page as well. So we'll just change this one to be phone number and we'll change the text here too. And now on our inputs, we just want to change the placeholder text. So we'll go john at gmail.com. And we also want to change the input type. So since this is an email field, I'm going to change it to email. And for our phone number one, I'm gonna change it to a phone number. Now, this is where we can start to use some component logic to actually tie this form together. So what I'm gonna do is select my submit button here and we're gonna go up to interaction and we're gonna set a new interaction. So a new transition. And we're gonna make it that on success, it's going to go to variant two. So essentially this means that if someone fills out this form and everything looks okay, it'll take them to the next step. So the only other thing we need to do before we start testing our form is changing the ID here, because if we have multiple inputs with the same ID, it's gonna to try to recognize that as the same thing. So we can just change this one to say email and this one to be phone. Okay, so now if we actually click on preview on our site and fill out this form and put our name Ryan, you will notice that everything will update just like so and it will take us to that next step on the form. But if I don't put anything in here and it tries to validate this form, you'll notice that I can't continue until I actually put in some information. And now let's add one more step in here, which is for a message. So we'll just change the text here to say message and we'll change this input type to be a text area. And now we're gonna take this button and we're gonna change it from validate form to submit form. So this will actually send out information to somewhere. Now we can also paste in a submit URL. So this is where we wanna send our form data once someone has actually submitted the form. So we'll come back to that in a minute, but right now let's just change our text to say submit. And now let's go to the internet and let's search up form spree. Now form spree is a great free tool to actually collect form data. And what we'll do inside of form spree is create a new form and we'll call this my multi-step form. 
and we'll create that form. And what we're gonna do is copy this ID here and go back into Framer. And now in this submit button, we're gonna paste that URL. So now when we actually preview our sites, we'll be able to fill out our entire form. And hopefully when I press the submit button, it will go to form spray. But the very last thing I want to do is add one more variant here, which we're going to call the success page. So I'm gonna click on a variant and we're gonna rename this success. So when someone submits this form, what we're gonna do is create a new trigger and on the success of that form, we're gonna take them to this success page. So we can have something relatively basic. We'll just put some text here and we'll make it say something like submitted and we'll change the color of this and size this up a little bit more. And I also wanna make sure on this variant here that everything is set up correctly. Awesome, okay, so when someone clicks next on the first one, it goes to the second one, and when they click next on the second one, it takes them to the third one, and then when they click on submit, and if everything's validated, it'll take them to this success page. And the last thing we need to do before we forget is to update the ID so everything is different. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So I'm gonna put in my name here. So I'm gonna write Ryan, I'm gonna update this email address. I'm gonna add a phone number and we're gonna type our message. And then when we click on submit, it's gonna take us to the success page. So it's validated that form and it's now submitted that form. So now if I go to form spree and refresh my page, you'll see we now have a new form submission. So if I go into submissions here, you'll see I've got all my information right here in front of me. And that's how you create a multi-step form inside of Framer. Now, if you do wanna do this, you will have to pick up Framer Forms, which the link will be down below. And if you want an even easier way of getting started, there's a ton of templates here. There's one called Multi-Step Form, so you don't have to worry about connecting everything together. And it's a really cool template just to get your project started. If you've got any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment below. If you want more Framer content like this, consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out a lot more content coming into 20. 24. Until next time, I'll catch you later.